In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom schematic component. So I'm going to create a schematic element for the Maxim Max 709, which is a power supply monitor with reset. So we'll start by creating a new schematic library by going File, New, Library, Schematic Library. And then we'll go to Tools, Component Properties, and we'll fill in the information for the chip. So this is a Maxim Power Supply Monitor with Reset. I'm going to add a footprint. This chip is just an 8 pin dip. So I'll use an 8 pin dip that I already have in my library. Now I'm going to define the pins. So if you double click, you get more options. So I'm just going to look at the data sheet and go down the list. So the first pin is a no connect. And the next pin is VCC. And we'll set that type to power. And I'm going to place it at the top of the chip. Um, see, then we have ground, which is pin 3. Again, the type is power. And I'm going to place this one at the bottom. So there are several no connects on this chip. because it only actually uses three pins, despite the fact the package has eight. So, if you want the active low bar over a character, you can put a backslash after the character, like so. I'll make this an output, and I'm going to put a dot, so I know that it's an active low output. And there's one more pin, which is a no connect. Now I'm going to hide all these no connects because there's no reason to draw them on the schematic. And click OK. And if you zoom out, you can see they've added these pins for me. So I need to draw a box for the actual component. So I'll go over here to the toolbar. And I'll create a box, try about that size, we'll see how that works. Now it gets placed in front of everything, so I'll have to go to Edit, Move, Send it Back, and then click on the box and Escape to get out. And there is my chip. So if I save, Now I'm done.